Lillian Smith in 1901 appeared with Cummins's ethnological exhibition at the Pan American Exhibition in Buffalo, New York. Uh, this was to be the fair to uh, lead all fairs and to eclipse all international fairs at that time. And she appeared as Winona. She headlined at the 1901 exhibition as Winona, the long lost Sioux princess. And she performed in the arena with her dusky makeup and her beaded tunic. And she did all kinds of shooting feats, not just in on foot, but now we're starting to see her perform more on horses, which is something she had always wanted to do. And she also performed with Geronimo, who had been trotted out for his last appearances, and he was nearing 80 years old at this time, so they often paired Winona with Geronimo, and there's no record about whether they were friendly or not, but they appeared in photographs together, and they appeared in parades together. But from that summer on, she made appearances as Princess Winona. And by all accounts, she was the biggest draw that people ever saw in their lifetimes. So there were three or four different reasons that I give Lillian for uh, emerging as Princess Winona at the turn of the last century. I think first and foremost, uh, it allowed her to do these physical feats uh, without being restrained and constrained by these Victorian dresses that she had been performing with before. If you're wearing a tunic, you can move around a lot. Uh, I think also there was this mystique about being a Native American and one that wandered among the whites and could pass back and forth between white America and Native American America. People wanted to see the exotic Indian. She was not doing this because she thought it was something that would repel people. Audiences came in droves to see these mysterious uh, women who could cross lines and speak English but also walk among the Indians. I also think that it gave her a passport socially. As we know, she had a number of common law husbands, legal husbands, and um, dalliances. And I think that passing as an Indian gave her a way to have these social contracts behind the scenes. And I, I, I think that's part of the reason she adopted this and felt so at home with it.